hedge laying is renovation of an, an overgrown hedge. You'll see it's very thin in the bottom and very thick in the top. And uh, to make a hedge livestock proof and to help the hedge to re regrow, we lay it as low as down to ground level and it'll regrow within a year or two depending on soil conditions and weather. And what's Neil doing at the moment? Neil is just putting one down. It's been cut nine tenths through at the bottom. The sapwood is left, the bark is left, and that uh, layer then will be fastened into the hedge with stakes and binders along the top. It's just similar to a um, fastening up a broken bone on a human being. Sorry, it's fixed with fastenings. What, what sort of things is it fixed we with? We put stakes in, South of England style, which is what we lay, uh, stakes in every 18 inches, and the binders, you get a new binder starting at every stake, and the finished height will be four feet above ground level. The new binder is put underneath the top two binders, and there's a new binder put in at every stake. Neil is putting the binders now is weaving in between the stakes and he'll continue along that until he comes to the end and he'll come back and step, put another binder in at the next stake. It looks as if it's twisted but it isn't, it's the way we put them in and it's the way they lay. How, how fast can one lay a hedge? We would reckon on about 20, tw between 20 and 30 yards a day if conditions are good depending on the conditions and how bad the hedge is. If it's a very bad hedge, probably only 15 yards a day. An easy hedge, perhaps 30. Once it's been laid, how soon does it need, need attention and what do you do to it? Well, the first year, you would only take the long ends off, ex the excess growth. So it helps to push out, brush, widens the growth and makes more cover. What's the best time of year to do hedge laying? There are EEC regulations stating that thou shalt not cut a hedge when the birds are nesting. So it's sort of September through to end of February, March. And um, that leaves the, the nesting season for the birds when you're not going to disturb them. The South of England Hedge Lane Society started in 19... Well, it, its birth actually was in October 1984, but we didn't have a an annual general meeting till early 1985. Uh, there are now about 150 members. We attend agricultural shows. We do t four training days a year. We have a competition day each year. Um, and uh, it's a very, uh, very nice little society, little 150 members from all walks of life. Anybody can be a hedge layer. Yep. What about hedges in the UK, well, particularly the South East? Is there a... I, I thought the hedges were sort of disappearing, but is that, has that been reversed? Years ago, there were a lot of hedges taken out. Small fields were made into large fields. And uh, since then, now it's now illegal to take hedges out, but there are far more hedges being planted than people realise. The number of hedges being planted is quite considerable. I'm talking in terms of mileage, not yards. A lot of hedges. And presumably hedges are a bit more... There's a lot more to them in, than just keeping stock in. Yes, you've got all the wildlife. Uh, looking at this hedge, it's full of rabbits, but we don't encourage rabbits. We're thinking in terms of the small animals. Pigeons can and magpies can ro roost and nest up in trees. Little birds won't. Little birds want somewhere thick, down near the ground level and also the small mammals as well. So it's a benefit to wildlife in general. Can you tell me something about the hedge layer's equipment? Uh, we start with a small billock. There's a larger billock which Neil is using at present, which is a Yorkshire billock. Uh, he may have a bow saw, he may have a chainsaw. If it's very thick, heavy wood, he'll have a chainsaw. One thing that people sometimes forget is that he often carries a wire cutters as well. Wire is an enemy of any sharp tool, hand tool. If you hit a piece of wire early in the morning you're going to blunt your tools so you, you need to carry wire cutters as well. Often people forget that. Yeah.